morning everyone. We are here in Paul Ricard with Winfield and thank you again Winfield for this incredible day. Beautiful day, 28 degrees and what we are going to do today is absolutely exceptional. In 2012 I worked as a performance engineer for Kimi Raikkonen in Lotus F1 and actually we won Abu Dhabi Grand Prix with this same exact car. And just to make sure I'm not saying anything wrong, look at that. I want to see you, you see that? That's the chassis number, chassis number five, which is exactly the chassis Kimi won in Abu Dhabi when I was working with him, when we had the famous, leave me alone, I know what to do. And today I got the incredible opportunity to drive this fantastic car, 750 horsepower, the real exact car that Kimi was doing. So, wow, I'm a bit nervous to say the least, but it's an amazing opportunity for me. I don't think ever an engineer that engineer a car apart, maybe Adrian Newey drove a Formula One car, so I can't wait. So let's uh, be with me. Uh, trust me, pressure is on, but I'm really looking forward. So that was the first session full push with this beautiful Formula 4 that you have there. Four cylinder, 1.6, 170 horsepower. And the goal for this second session was to practice the braking. So I managed to reach 210 uh, km per hour at the end of the straight. And we had to practice a hard braking. So you arrive in sixth gear, shift down to second. And then that was the main goal of this session. The second scene I tried to do is to try to take the high speed corner called Sin Corner, which is a long right hander corner in fifth gear. So I managed to do it without braking, but not yet flat, but wow, what an experience, what a car. So that's it, that was the last, the third and last session on this uh, Formula 4 here in Paul Ricard with the Winfield Racing School. Amazing experience. I mean, you start it very slowly. The first session is behind a safety car. The second session you focus really on braking, which is the most difficult on this track. And this last session, I'm quite proud of me. I improved three seconds a lap just to tell you how much margin I have. Don't worry, I'm not really good, but I'm quite happy I managed to improve. Look at the data and improve lap by lap. So fantastic experience. So the next step this afternoon is the big girl, the Lotus E20 chassis five that Kimi drove in Abu Dhabi in 2012. I absolutely can't wait. So we are here in Alpine garage and have been kind enough to give us the steering wheel I will drive later on today. So as you can see, obviously it's quite an old steering wheel now. So the modern Formula One cars have a big LCD display. At the time in 2012, the driver only had this very small uh, display with just the gear, the RPM, uh, the speed and the lead. But still it's a very complex steering wheel. But let me show you a bit more in detail. So at the back you have six paddle shift two for the clutch, two for the shift up and shift down. And these two upper ones are actually toggle that the system engineer were assigning, to, for example, a differential mapping or a throttle map. Then at the front, you have a lot of different, what we call the Mandatino or switches. So this is the main one where the driver could switch on different functions. Uh, here, for example, you have the diff exit uh, switch or you have some mix setting for the engine the traction control mode, the revs, and a series of uh, buttons, uh, a lot of buttons, one for the box, for the reverse, okay to acknowledge the function, plus all this magnetic on the side where the driver will actually change while he's driving the differential, the brake mapping. So as you can see, it's very complex. And even 12 years ago, the steering wheel were very, very high tech. I can't wait to try that in a minute.
that's it. My first ever Formula One drive. Whoa, just came out of the car. Believe me, it's incredible. So the big question is, can a normal I drive a Formula One around the circuit? The answer is yes. Can you drive it fast? Mm, that's much more complicated. The feeling of speed is unbelievable. I think I went only once full throttle and then everything starts to happen way too quickly. The brakes, everything. Surprisingly, this car power steering. So the steering is very, very uh, soft, very smooth. I was just a little bit uh, squeezed in, so it was quite difficult to steer, but it's just an incredible, incredible feeling. The power, the brake, the steering, the amount of grit available. I was probably using 20% of the potential of the car, so incredible. Thanks again to Winfield Racing School. Thanks again, Alpine, for that incredible experience. I strongly recommend it. Fantastic. Probably one of the best experiences of my life. This car is so quick, it would blow your mind. I mean, everything is happening so quickly when you push the throttle, suddenly you start to have a tunnel vision and basically you don't see what's happening on the side anymore and your focus is purely on braking, downshifting. It's unbelievable the amount of power, the amount of grip that this kind of car can generate. Wow, it just blew my mind. And you know what? This car is so quick that there is only one thing that you want to say to your engineer when you're driving. Just leave me alone, I know what I'm doing.